So we have right here some wild mushrooms. Don't eat them. had a vehicle breakdown. You know, the first thing you're gonna do is stay with your vehicle. Usually help will come. We had to move, that we were out of water. We had a GPS that showed a water source. Trees don't grow without water. So go into that thick part of the trees. So we found some water, uh, purified the water. Okay, the one surefire way that you can purify water is to boil it. Now it's extremely important for me to remember dirty water, clean water. Okay, now what I'm gonna be able to do is take this water, which I know has got Giardia and Cryptosporidium and other nasties in it. I'll boil it, I'll use some uh, bleach, and then I'll put it in my clean canteen. Used a variety of methods, using a uh, Steri straw. So what we have here is our life straw from Blade HQ. And it's basically just a water purifier in the size of a straw. And there's two ways you can use it. You can either drink straight from the water source, or you can fill a canteen up and drink from your canteen later. We only had a couple hours of light to do all of this. We divvied up the collection of water and the shelter and the fire. If our wiki up or shelter is gonna be here, I wanna have a wall, a reflective wall here with our fire on this side and then the fire uh, will radiate from the wall back into us. So what I got here is the uh, black label browning uh, nice. Normally, I'm not a big fan of serrated, but as you can see on some of this softer stuff, I'm able to just rip through it. And like Tyler said, being able to have a saw is nice. And I learned a little while ago using a uh, Swiss Army Victronox type knife like this with the saw on this just blows through trees. I can take this little guy and really if I were to say from an ultralight survivalist perspective, what's the one thing I would carry? It'd be something little like this. But what was that? A minute? And that's gonna be a whole lot faster than trying to baton or hatchet your way through with a, with a bigger knife. My main duty was just kind of to gather bedding. There's really not a whole lot to work with out here, so we slept on stage. You want one big log on the top. Made a fork. Preferably you want some forks at the top of that log. Then you want two other big logs at the front. And essentially it kind of makes a double lean-to if you want to call it that. So I got a spine there, I've got three major legs. And then I'm gonna take these thin ones like this, start weaving them in. Over and under, and over and under. And we just keep weaving it in. Okay, it's a little ugly, but I'm looking for a shelter in an hour. I don't care how ugly it's gonna get. If you know it's gonna rain, steep, over 45 degree angles, helps the rain. This one's not quite a rain shelter as much as it is a heat shelter. I tied a 550 cord down there. I just pulled that up like that and that Fire is going to hit this and radiate down on us. Found this rock while we were walking over there. It's got quartz in it. So I'm going to take my char cloth that I made by cooking cotton without air, oxygen. A little roll of it. I'll stick that little guy right there. And I'm going to hope that I can drop a spark onto there. Right there. Woo! Go. You actually might live. You know, if we really wanted to get into, hey, we're gonna survive forever, then that's totally possible. You know, I've got a bag that I can live out of for as long as I possibly need to. And realistically, we're just trying to demonstrate what can be done with a couple products. <laughs> Shut up, Tyler. 
since we used our char cloth yesterday to get the fire started initially, we're gonna need to replace that. So how we'll do that is we got a little Altoids box with just a little hole in here, I call it a weep hole. And you just have your cloth, whatever you want here. We use cut up t-shirts. You just close that, drop them in the fire. There we go. Let her cool down. So we, uh, we let our uh, Altoid box cool off finally, and there's our char cloth. It started off as a blue shirt, and you can tell now, you know, it's really light. That's highly flammable. So, 